Hello everyone, Indie Voice here with the last game of the review a thon, and I hope you enjoyed all these games. And I want to make a shout out to Gym Leader Ed because this is definitely a game I could see him recommending. Today's game we're looking at today is called Dragon Quest Treasures. Now this not may be particularly an indie game, from what I'm seeing after playing this, this is definitely a monster taming game. I wonder if there are going to be evolutions in this, but there may not be because this is a Dragon Quest game, not a Pokemon game. Eric and his sister Mia live on a Viking long Ship, dreaming for the one day to explore the world in search of the grand treasure. The adventure Elk and Mia have always dreamed is finally underway. One night they encountered a pair of otherworldly creatures, Porcus and Persla. They have been whisked away to a mysterious place known as Dragonia, a legendary land filled with treasures just waiting to be discovered. With the vast world of Dragonia in the explore, and tons of tantalizing treasures to find Elk, Mia, and their cute companions will need some help. The team soon befriend and recruit viable variety of well-mannered monsters. Using these monsters' magical visions and hidden treasures and their unique treasure hunting abilities, our heroes will race through open fields, scale cliffs with a single bound, glide over gaping chasms to locate loot even the most fiendishly inaccessible spots, venture into a vast, varied world where where twists and turns and mysteries lie hidden on your path to discovering the legendary treasure of Dragonia. In my personal experience of playing this, so I have played several Dragon Quest series games, such as Dragon Quest Builders, Dragon Quest 7, Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2, Dragon Quest Monsters Joker, and the most recent one that was on the PC and PS4 and Nintendo Switch now. I have played a decent collection of these. I might get back into it and replay them again someday. But anyway, this game game has been very entertaining, leveling up your monsters, hunting for treasure, finding good combinations of monsters to use, and more. What I like, a lot of areas to explore, gaining new monsters to have on your team, creatures from the history of Dragon Quest, new adventure, 30 plus hours of gameplay. What I didn't like, the English voice acting is a bit rough. For the pros and cons of Dragon Quest treasure, the pros. Great design, follows up with the use Dragon Quest art and design of the characters and monsters, addictive gameplay, really nice sound and music design, a good adventure of using monster taming mechanics throughout this. There has been successful Dragon Quest past games that uses the monster taming mechanics and I'm glad to see it again with this recent Switch game. The cons, the English voice acting. I gotta say that it's, it's bad. It's not like the best thing in the world but still it's something where if you can get over it then this game can be extremely fun for the verdict i give for dragon quest treasures this game is another good one to the lineup of dragon quest series of games even though the voice acting is a bit annoying and the gameplay and everything else is excellent so if you can ignore the lousy voice acting you'll enjoy this entire game dragon quest treasures gets a score of do recommend thank you for watching the entire review a thon now back to the schedule of indie games and I'll see you next time.